Yeah, 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 the poo. Do do do. Hmm hmm hmm. Ma'am. Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear ten-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. <laughs> I love that they use all the same sound effects throughout all the games. Alright, let's make sure everything's running properly. Snowy, good to see ya. Hmm. Let me pull open the YouTube chat. Do 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 There we go. Come on, let me pop it out. Come on. Oh, I see the problem. There we go. I was looking at the last at the, the stream from a couple days ago, not the current stream. Before we get going, I want to check one thing real quickly, which is the Nemo stream. Looks a little blurry to my eyes. I want to check one thing real quickly, which is the Nemo stream. Hmm. Oh, okay, you have to purposefully switch it to 1080p. Got it. Just letting me know, me know you changed your name for Soy Motorcycle to Snow and Crescent M. I was still able to figure out who you were. Okay, so the stream is just fine. Do, 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 do. It's the one problem with having multiple different streams. You have to check and make sure they're all running. Yeah, everything looks good to me. Let's start by clicking on everything. This is definitely my favorite game in the series. Everything sounds weird to me because I'm using like earbuds instead of my normal headphones because my headphones keep freaking breaking. I'm gonna have to get some new ones. The M stands for motorcycle still, I figured. Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Aww. Aww thanks. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Hmm. So I'm trying something new today. I added noise suppression to my microphone. See if that improves the sound quality anymore. Oh, you have to say, Freddy. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad. Yeah, let's get to the plot. Plot, plot, plot. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch. I can't wait. Let's go, Freddy. Hang on, I gotta click on this. What does this do? Oh, do they sing? Let me ride with the tide. Let me spend my days outside on wide open way. I don't remember this. How is my morning or day? Pretty good. It's my day off, so I'm having a pretty good day so far. I can't wait to get my VTuber avatar. Then you'd actually be able to see me dancing to the music. 
What does this do? This is, I think this is absolutely my favorite game in the Freddy Fish series. Why do they do so many different things? Alright, let's progress the story along. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. Uh -oh. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What, what does that <laughs> mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That seems That's like a very right. small enclosure. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Well, that seems like Did a very small police? enclosure. I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luke like that? and I will find the hogfish and catch those rats. That was a teeny yeah. tiny little Thank you enclosure. Both. Like, I don't know about turn. that. You say, I don't play games so much, the games you sometimes do is a crossword puzzle? Eh, to each their own. Banana. Ooh. Look at that book spinning. Baby. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Anything else? Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope. I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. That's not a lot to go off of. Are you sure you didn't see anything when the rustlers came? Yep. But ask around town. Somebody there might have seen something. Did the rustlers leave any clue? All right, go into town then. Ooh, purple sea urchin. Look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. Jellyfish? A sword. <laughs> Trying to lift it? I am humongous. Oh, he, he thought his fins fell off. Did you see that? <laughs> ah, he pulls the sword out and like, chews on this. Ew. Well, if you. If, like, why would that taste good, man? It's probably been there for a while. Uh-oh. You stuck? You can do it, buddy! Oh, you did it! You just oh. had to let off some air. What does this do? Ooh, back massage. Well, that looks like it feels good. Like somebody crack my back that way, please. Is hmm. it Ooh, octopus. Oh. Oh, he feels he spit out a chest. Why would why did you have a chest in your mouth? And a chair. Why were those in your mouth? That was an anchor. 
Ooh, I'm super nostalgic about this music. What else you got to spare? There's a chair, a treasure chest, an anchor, another chair, okay. I think we're out of things to click on. Moving on. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything I about those I love that the town clothes. square just has a giant frickin' hole in it. And that's just normal. Let's say hello to him. Customers! <clears throat> hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. That seems suspicious. Suspicious. It says, just buckles. Where's that? Where's it? Golf clubs. Red sticks. Bananas. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Rule of three. What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that that's um it's a personal project. Nothing important. Can you tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing, it's just something I'm building for myself. Suspicious. Can you tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing, it's just something I'm building for my... Are you sure you won't tell us more about that big thing over there? It's nothing! Forget about it! Hmm... What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature Ooh. a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. But what if you wanted a number, huh? Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure. But right now, we've got to do something about those rustlers. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure. But All right, same dialogue. Did Baby. you see this picture? I see it. It's my son, Half Nelson. Aww. He was real cute as a baby. Nelson and Half Don't Nelson. He has your forearms. I, ne I never got that joke as a kid. Now Did I get it. Did I show it. you my son's baby picture? Yes, he's very cute. Have you seen my son's baby picture? Yes, he looks a lot like you. Except smaller. Did I show you my son's baby picture? Yes, he's very cute. <laughs> you can just keep at. He just keeps pointing it out to you if you ask. Do you work out a lot? Proud Papa. Why? Um, no. Making buckles is hard work, so I don't really need to work out. And where anything else to say? Let's interrogate him. So all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. That sure don't look like no buckle. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Mmm, suspicious. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you've just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? No, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. Liar. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Hmm, well, he's not going to tell us anything right now. We'll have to confront him later. What's over here? There's a ship. That's a scary looking place. Maybe the rustlers are hiding in there. Could be, Luther. Hello, Jaka. 
Let's see. Fish diving fish. Oh, and then he pulls him back up with like a thing. He jumps off the side of the ship, and the other fish pulls him back up. It's funny that they're using a life wing, like underwater. Like it would not work like that. Oh, hang on. Keep clicking. I got that. That's pretty. Anything else I can click on? Oh, what's it gonna spit out? Oh, it just spits out bubbles. Tightrope walker. So now he tries it with a pole. And he, he still doesn't get all the way though. Oh, now he slides down and he hits the thing. I get it, he's some kind of clown. Oh look, he mows the lawn. Oh, then we need to turn back. Come let's on, let's check out that hatch. Yeah, let's take okay. a closer look at the door. It won't open. It's locked. This game is weird? How is it weird, Jaka? It's a point and click adventure. Well, I guess all the things that you can click on that, that can happen are a little bit weird. It still won't open. It's still locked. Anything to click on here? So that just dances. It's okay, Jaka. I understand that not everybody can watch all the time. Oops, hang on, I forgot to send out the Trovo notification. There we go. Taken care of. Anything else to click? Peach. Bongo. So it's like hippies in there. Ruby. Oh no! A combination lock. We should probably look around for some kind of clue to help us with these numbers. All right, Freddy. We'll come back later. Oh, I never found look for things to click around here. Ooh, those cactuses just literally fall off. Kaka scratches his butt. So he just hits baseballs. Wait, he didn't mean to go back. Oh, he plays a guitar. Monkey fish. Oh, did you see that glitch? Look! His animation failed. Monkey's in a barrel. I get it. How are you playing a wheel like a harp? How are you doing that? His guitar plays maracas. Is that what I think it is? I think. Oh! It's a nice kind of pastel orange color. Hmm. It's a nice kind of pastel. Hi, surprise! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid Squid, of the Santa Clara Squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. No, I can make. Well, I can make you a mod on YouTube too. I'll do that now. There you go, now you're a mod on YouTube, too. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? I heard Miss Stella down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? I don't think so. Do you know anything? Might be that's the hogfish done up and rustled themselves, too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. I don't think that's likely. Anything else to say? Yep. 
Are you sure you don't know anything about the rustlers? I heard that rustlers took some hogfish belonging to the cousin of a young girl near here. I haven't seen them, but if I was looking, I'd look in the I heard someone delusion. say that, but I think she's just sick. People are talking about her dying, but so far all I heard was that she was under medical supervision. Oh, she did die, like eight, like half an hour ago. Wow. Like earlier, I looked it up and she was, in... hold on. Hey, the queen is, free. is... okay, hold on, I wanna, uh, hang on, let me. Queen Elizabeth II dead. Hang on, I... give me one second, I gotta go tell my mom. Grab it. they already knew like wow that like just happened like that is going to cost a lot of money holy cow okay that's a thing all right oh shoot it's not showing the gameplay oi there we go well that's news what you gotta say for yourself? How come you spit so much? It's the ink more than anything. Anything else to say? Tastes worse than that sweet potato soda it does. <laughs> I can't abide the taste of it at all. You produced it? That must be horrible. Anything else to say? Yup. Come on, I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. An interrogation. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when Ape got his melon stuck in the bucket of ink? His melons? You know what, I'm not even gonna ask. Ooh, a piece of paper. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. I'll bet the Rustler Seven, Rustler's three, left. two. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. Anyway, we need it. The combination might open that lock we saw. Seven, three, two. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this. Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hogfish. Let's see if we can interrogate this person. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Fingered Phil. Dr. Pianoology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. Uh, I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. You got anything else to say? Mr. Fingers. Could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Wow. What are their names? Four and 11. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Four and 11? Oh, I get it. He's just, all, oh, all of his kids are named numbers. Seems a bit degrading to me, honestly, but, you know, practical. 
Anything else? You play the piano very <laughs> well. <laughs> Why, thank you, little lady. Do you play requests? Sure. What would you like to hear? Um, Pop Goes the Weasel? Coming right up. <laughs> Could you play Little Jack Horner? You bet. But he doesn't actually. Can you play Ring Around the Rosie? Good choice. Luther, why are the only songs you know... I, I get you're a kid, but why are the only songs you know, like, playground songs? Can you play London Bridge? Coming right up. Luther, do you not listen to any music at all? Mr. Fingers, um, how come your songs all sound so much like each other? Well, you know, getting the notes right doesn't really count for much. It's how you interpret the music that's important. See here? I guess so. Oh, that's the joke. It's, so it's, that's not a mistake. It's like, he just plays the same song every time. That's funny. Could we hear The Farmer in the Dell? I remember that one from way back. Do you have the music for Little Bo Peep? Of course! Wait, well, seriously, why do you two only know children's nursery rhymes? Is that literally all you Would know? Would you play Wink and Blink and Nod? Yes, so read. I don't even know what that one is. Wink and Blink and Nod? I've never heard that. Mr. Fingers, does having so many arms make it easier to play the piano? Hey, hey. Well... Sometimes it's hard to keep them from getting tangled up. He's only, like, using two of them, so I would say no. How about playing Jack Spratt? Absolutely. And it, come on, no information? Do you know a diller a dollar? Sure. Jeez, how much dialogue do these guys have? Would you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? That's one of my favorites. I bet he only knows the one song. Can you play Hi, RSQG? Hey, diddle, diddle. How you doing? Sure. Just how many lines of dialogue do these two have? Could we hear Old Mother Hubbard? That's one of my f Would you please play Jack and Jill? Of course. How many lines? Could you please play the owl and the pussycat? Coming right up. Oh, I'm glad you're doing all right. Yeah, I'm done asking you about. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, it's one of these little movies. I remember this. <laughs> uh, next one. Wolf fish. Apparently that was a moon fish. Next. Obvious reference. The good. Thank you for the narration, Luther. The, the bad. bad. The good, the bad, and the heavy. Funny, I swear that I swear that that goes differently in the movie. <laughs> you got him. 
around the eye stalks. I feel like that would hurt. Uh oh, Mama's here. Talk about karma. Oh, I remember the punchline to this. AJ would be proud, yeah. Yeah, like they're on and they're on. Um, like, uh. I fuck, what are those called? Those ride on things. I don't even remember what they're called. I don't. What's this one? So he's thinking evil thoughts about, like, cheating and stealing from a bank and harassing women and beating people up. Clearly, he's supposed to be a bad dude. And being the law? So he wants to be the sheriff, but use it for evil. Ha! Ah, he got immediately intimidated and ran away. What's this? Ah, hogfish riding. Or bullfish, I guess. Oh, well, that bullfish turned the tables on him. The tumbleweed. What's this one? Honestly, that, that, that's not too inaccurate of what tumbleweeds, of the palm tumbleweeds are in real life. That's actually decently accurate. Apple juice. How are they comfortable in that can? Scale Rider. Ah, apple juice, apparently. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Obvious reference. Bit his butt. The end. They have to keep it G-rated, so no guns, just apple juice and biting clams on the butt. Okay, we've seen them all. Let's talk to the bartender lady. What do you got to say for yourself? Where were you when the hogfish was stolen? Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Lube. What can I do for you? We See, it's soda, not alcohol. Ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What brings you hey. youngsters oh, to Briny Gulch, my anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding! How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible! I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish! That's good, because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. You seem innocent enough. Do you have anything else to say? Can you tell us more about those suspicious characters that you saw? Well, there were two of them. One a little taller than the other, and they kept mentioning a third fella, Mr. Bag, or something like that. Mr. Bag. Thanks for letting us look around. We found a clue. That's great, honey. Now you go get those rustlers, you hear? Anything else? Stella, do you know where the Rusty Rustler is? Why, sure. That's the old shipwreck out back of the Soda Loon. It's been there as long as I can remember. Thank you. So that's where they're going. In the note. Hi, Fluttershy. How you doing? Yeah, cause Meet that's what the note says. The rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Seven, three, two. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, they're playing table hockey. He ate it. Eh, 
bonked him. Yeah, uh. he cheated. You see that? Look over there. Would that help you? Taking a random card from someone else's deck and putting it in your own? Would that actually help you? I guess it would depend on the game. And if you were like card counting. Oh, that time it was real. And there was an octopus that grabbed him. His friend wasn't faking it that time. Anything else to say? Nope. What can I do for you kids? Ooh. One walnut soda, please. One soda on the house. You can like then get all these different sodas. And you have to click on it before it falls. So they'll drink it. What? Oh. Uh, Aw, that's hurt. Looks like it hurts. It was that a walnut soda? I think that's the crunchiest soda I've ever had. Might be better if they left the shells out. <laughs> Walnut soda with the shells on. Yeah, that doesn't sound tasty. They could still be pretty One crunchy with soda, the please. shells off, though, if they didn't grind them up. You bet. What kind of soda was talking over it? Darn it. I think the tumbleweeds are still tumbling. A tumbleweed soda? Ew, who'd want to eat that? Oh, you just finished your dinner. That's not... That sounds good. What else? What other sodas? One pickle soda, please. Pickle soda? Yeah. Come Do they right have up. any good flavors here? Catch it! Very nice for it to just give them all these sodas for free, for no reason. <coughs> yeah, they don't like the pickle soda. Do you have any good flavors? One pumpkin soda, please. Ooh, pumpkin soda. That might you be bet. tasty. Let's see. And you see how shall like they're all coming from the same tap? All different sodas are all coming from the exact same tap. So, like, even if she has some sort of lever that we can't see, that, like, makes it, it spit out different sodas. Pumpkin pumps me up! And they have different sodas. Like, they'd all mix. So, like, like, you have, like, little bits of the last soda left and you pour out a new one. They're on the house because we're the heroes, remember? Alright, alright. I get it. The heroes get free stuff. What else you got? One sassafras soda, please. Sassafras? What even is One sassafras? Soda on the house. Like, I've heard the word before, and I know it's some food related, but what is sassafras? Oh. Luther, you catch your friend every time. You'd think you'd learn by now. Like, this is the fourth or fifth time. Mm. Apparently, whatever sassafras is, they like it. What other flavors you got? One coral soda, please. Coral soda. Coming right I mean, they're up. fish, so they'd find it tastier than I would, I guess. Oh. Let's see if they like it. Okay, so they like the coral soda. What else they got? One sweet potato soda, please. A sweet potato soda. One soda on the house. That might be good. It would depend on... I feel like a sweet potato soda could either be absolutely terrible or decent, depending on how you did it. Like that one too, no complaints. What else you got? One peppermint soda, please. Peppermint soda? I think they're gonna you like bet. that one. 
like, I personally can't stand mint, but I think yeah, these characters probably like it. Uh, the fact that I can't stand mint makes it very, very hard for me to find toothpaste. Like, every adult toothpaste ever has some sort of mint flavoring. I still use children's toothpaste for that reason. Mm. Strawberry Colgate, if you want to know. What else you got? One algae soda, please. Algae. Again, another flavor Turn that only right the fish up. would like. Gonna be green, obviously. Yep. They reuse some of these colors, I've noticed. The same color as the pickle soda. Like, I wonder how they came up with this, like, sweet potato soda? Like, who thought that up? Mm. You have a lot of flavors. What else you got? One prickly pear soda, please. Prickly pear soda? One soda I don't think that's going to end well. I Somehow I doubt they've taken out the thorns. I just realized I'm, I'm, I'm setting my hand in the WASD position on my keyboard even though you don't use those in this game. I, I think I got a prickle stuck in my tongue. I like the prickly pear flavor. Apparently Freddy's a bit of a masochist. Alright, I bet she likes spicy food too. What else she got? Cinnamon soda, please. Cinnamon soda, that's interesting. Right I bet that's actually a thing. Why is cinnamon soda pink? Oh. That looks painful. Agreed, agreed. I don't want, like, thorns in my tongue. Like, that seems like it'd be proper painful. Yeah, I've realized that my resting position has my hands on the WASD keys on my keyboard, even if the game isn't using them. That's just how I rest my hand. That's interesting. I just learned something about myself. What other sodas you got? One Loganberry soda, please. Loganberry. That sounds Ooh, tasty. Fruit flavors. Oh, I think that's a new color. Yeah, if you don't click it, it actually falls off the table and breaks. I'll demonstrate once we've tried all the flavors. Mm. You agree that, yeah, that does sound pretty tasty. What else? One vanilla beet soda, please. Vanilla beet? Coming right up. As in a vegetable? Is that a thing, a vanilla beet? The animation is pretty cool, though. You can really taste the beet. Mmm. Apparently, they like their vegetables. One spicy mango soda, please. Spicy mango? You bet. Spicy and fruity? Like, sweet and spicy? Oh. Hmm. I feel like that would depend on the person whether you'd like that or not. Personally, I can't stand anything spicier than... If there's a lot more spicy in that than there's mango. Yikes! I think so, too. I can't really stand anything spicier than, like, a mild salsa. Anything spicier than that, I cannot do. What other sodas you got? One orange peel soda, please. Orange peel soda? Orange soda on the house. Orange peel, like, not orange. Orange peel? Why don't I just call it... It's not even called Orange Zest, it's called Orange Peel. Well, they like mm. it, apparently. Sure do have a lot of soda flavors. 
One bologna soda, please. Bologna? You bet. Meat flavored soda? Jeez. Gotta do something with all those peels, I guess. I guess. Oh, he likes mm. the bologna, apparently. How is this lady coming up with all these flavors? Like, what goes through her mind to think, I'm gonna start making bologna soda? I mean, I do like meat, so... Who knows, maybe it would taste good. One parsnip soda, please. Ew, I, I don't, I'm not Coming a vegetable right person. A parsnip soda? You'd have to add a lot of sugar to that for me to want to drink it. Doesn't color doesn't look too appealing either. Mm. It's surprising just the amount of content these games have, honestly. Like I've been clicking for a while and we still haven't run out of flavors. One rutabaga soda, please. Rutabaga, huh? That's One almost worse than parsnip. Apparently rutabaga is purple. Luther's Finn has to be, like, in, in intense throbbing pain by now. Like, he has done that at least a dozen times, if not more. Mm. Apparently these two really like their vegetables. What else you got in the menu? One prickly pear soda, please. Okay, looks like we've done them all. Actually, let's see one fall. One algae soda, please. See if it falls off the ta it can fall off the table. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. Yeah, you really should stop serving drinks that way. Like, like I feel if, if, if like that happened in an actual bar, the bartender was like, "Here, catch!" Like, you'd you'd end up with glass all over you. One baloney. So if you click on that, it's the same thing. All right, so we have this paper now. So now. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. He's not so innocent after all. He's working with the bad guys. Shocking development. I entirely forgot about that. Say he didn't know anything. The liar. Can't trust anyone in this town. What's the code? Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. That's where Memorize we are. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. 732. 732. Let's do if it. If we punch in the combination right, the lock will open. Thank you, Freddy. 9, 8, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. <laughs> Did it! <laughs> I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Hide! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. You probably should have well, fixed I guess it. I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. Like if the door is constantly coming off, maybe you should I fix it so it's not it secured. You're sitting down. It is, I think. No, maybe. I think it's still standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. Or maybe it's just guarding instead of standing guard. I hear the hogfish in there. Ooh. Let's go, Luther. 
But like, if the door, if your door has a habit of coming off, maybe actually attach it instead of just having to lock holding it on, because it's gonna fall off every time you go in or out, dude. It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bandana. We're gonna have to find all these all things. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm. Is the magazine specifically for wrestlers? People who make their life by stealing something that is extremely illegal? And a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be wrestlers, since you can't come in. Because this hideout is for wrestlers only. Like, he's, he's okay. just you. admitted to being a lawbreaker. Like, this he calls himself hideout, all right. a wrestler. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get the Exactly. For some reason, Hyder is more of a giveaway in saying his wrestler than describing the costume. Exactly. Like, I know the sheriff is out of town, and that's why we're investigating. Like, that was previously stated. But, like... Like, we, he has admitted... To, to being, like, a wrestler. Like, couldn't we just round up all the townspeople and storm the place? Like, it's not like anybody has guns. Like, we've not seen a single gun because this is a children's game. I feel like the whole town could just storm this place. Then again, like, like, we've met, like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Of the seven people we've met so far, one is actually extremely sus yeah, suspicious and might be on their side, and the other one has literally betrayed us by, like, phoning these guys. So, maybe it's not such a good idea to round up the townspeople. We don't know who to trust. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing Yeah, a... yeah, I was hoping you had different dialogue. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Luther's quite the adventurous type. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Yeah, they certainly tried. So let's take a I little look at this. these wrestler outfits look nice. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. All right. Find these things and sneak in. One direction we haven't gone yet. Ooh. There's the hogfish. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Anything to click around here? Oh, it tickles its friend. And then they switch places. Not much going on here. I guess it's just a transitional area. Wait, no, I didn't mean to go back. Fabby! Alright, moving on. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Like, so is it just like one or two people doing a square dance? Because that stage, even if like seven by seven, 
that, that's definitely not enough space for like like the whole town to do a square dance. Like that very must be a very tiny performance. These plans say they need a piece of wood seven feet by seven feet. These two are gay. These two are absolutely gay. They're best friends and they're gay. They are absolutely dating. You can't talk me out of it. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're gay. You know, the coffee might not have spilled on the plants if someone hadn't filled my cup so full. Well, maybe someone should use a bigger cup. I might use a bigger cup if someone made better coffee. Huh. You know, we might have better coffee if someone chipped into the coffee fund more than, say, once a year. We might get raises if someone didn't cut round squares when we needed square squares. This isn't getting us anywhere. Let's just get some more wood and make another floor. Maybe we should take another coffee break first. <sighs> or should you love their coffee? Maybe we could get them to change it from a square dance to a circle dance. You mean like the hokey pokey or something? Sure. I doubt it. People around here are stubborn. You're right. We better just fix the floor. What else do you have to say? It really is a shame. It's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone... They have some kind of fun dialogue here. How big a piece of wood did they... Seven by seven. So... For some reason, we're going to need the screwdriver. I, and to get the screwdriver, we need to find them a piece of wood. So let's go looking. Let's go this way first. It's two sea urchins for a uh, pack of gum and four sea urchins for a nut. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheelnut Company. I think he was in the last largest game. Distributor of bubble gum and wheelnuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything of must gum and go. nuts. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. I love Freddy's doubtful Great. look. Interesting company sells gum and nuts. I wonder how that came about. Paper. Let's see what's in the paper. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark... 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, Dude's that's, in uh, debt. That's Interesting. Nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. He ate it. Did you used to work at a carnival? And a fine job it was. Yeah. But I came out west to, uh, to explore new opportunities. Oh. Wheel nuts are a growth industry. I see. I bet he just got in trouble for scamming someone. Yeah, you were in the last game. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Not a thing. He's lying. That's three people in this town that are suspicious now. Wheel nuts. Get your wheel nuts here. So they're not just nuts, they're wheel nuts. Do you know anything about any rustlers in the area? Rustlers? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, he's, he's guilty as hell. Do you sell anything besides wheel nuts and bubble gum? No, that's all. Say, you two aren't federal marshals, are you? Why, well, you worried about that, huh? Got something to hide, huh? Yes, sir, we've got it all. Bubble gum, wheel nuts. Wheel nuts and bubble gum. Yes, sir, we've got it all. Bubble gum. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be super rubber bubble bubble gum. The best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Oh, uh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is. You can uh, get chewier reserved. bubble gum with a prescription? I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. I wonder what condition you'd have to have to like get a prescription for even chewier bubble gum. 
Like what like what disease would you have to have? I do have another party interested in purchasing this fine pack of bubblegum. Lies. So get better act fast if you don't want it to disappear. Yeah, I know you're just talking out your ass. It's just sea urchins for the pack. You know, Super Rubber Bubble is the only bubblegum that's vulcanized. So it lasts a long, long time. I got one pack left for just two purple sea urchins. And I should point out that Super Rubber Bubble is so chewy, it's often used as a roofing material. Just two purple sea urchins for the pack. Why would you want to put that in your mouth? In addition to its great taste, Super Rubber Bubble is also the only bubble gum used by the action figure industry. Only two purple sea urchins, that's hard to beat. I feel I'm less and less I am being convinced that I want to put this in my mouth. I do have another party interested in purchasing this fine pack of bubble gum. So you'd better act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what are you gonna? What nonsense are you gonna spout about your nuts? Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts, the finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. By the way, I should mention that the Biloxi premium name is a guarantee of quality. These previously owned wheel nuts have all passed a rigorous previously owned inspection, so you can be sure they'll hold your wheel. They're not even the new, actual, even under the most extreme weather conditions. So and there's still only three purple okay. sea urchins per nut. So let me get this straight. So you sell bubble gum that is so chewy that like it's so hard to chew. That it's used as a roofing material and to make action figures and used wheel nuts. Am I getting that right? Yes? Yes, freaking scam artist. Oh shit, bump, bump my pop filter. Pickle fit wheel nuts are built with a patented circular gap designed to fit right over your axle. In addition, the outer surfaces are molded to the exact specification of a variety of wheel manufacturers. You just can't buy a better wheel nut. And perhaps you've noticed our ridiculously low price today. Only three purple sea urchins. Pickle fit locking wheel nuts are hazard tested and have been found to hold wheels on even at speeds approaching the sound barrier. Just three purple sea urchins per nut today only. I feel like at that speed, like if it if it's a wheel that needs a nut on it, like I feel like at the, at that speed the wheel would just break first. I may not have mentioned that pickle fit nuts are cast from a revolutionary aluminum alloy, which allows them to resist the kind of heat deformation often associated with near light speeds. It's that kind of attention to detail that makes pickle fit the best nut for your wheel. Okay, now you're definitely and talking out your price. ass. Only three purple sea urchins. You won't find a better deal. I'm serious, like any wheel that's gonna get even close to going that fast is just gonna explode into pieces. Pickle fit locking wheel nuts are hazard tested and have been found to hold wheels on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Keep moving. What's next? Get out of here. Let's get away from this liar. Ooh, a wanted poster. Thin tooth. Ruth, Jack, Fluke, Sally, Clyde, Alice. Ugh. Zelda. Kind of like Sally. Wanted Black Bin Salad by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Pectus Clifton. Long Fin Sally. Slack Fin Sally. Long Fin Sally. Crooked Fin Sally. Crazy Fin Sally. Crazy Tooth Sally. Crazy Eye. Crazy Hat. Crazy Nose. Crazy Tongue. Black Tongue. 
black fin, tooth, eye, hat, nose, slack tongue, tooth, slack eye. You can do this for all the characters, man. Wrong tongue, Sally. Wrong fin, Sally. Wrong tooth, Sally. Ugh, that's horrific. Wrong eye, Sally. Wrong hat, Sally. That's a fucking bike helmet. Wrong nose, Sally. Wrong tongue, Sally. One thing. Crooked tongue, Sally. Fin. Tooth. Eye. Crooked hat. Crooked nose. Crooked tongue. Crazy tongue, Sally. Crazy tooth. Crazy eye. Alright, we've seen everything. I feel like they use the same stuff for all the characters. Like, the crazy tooth is always gonna be a yo-yo. So you can't go this way right now. Some playthroughs you can. Oh There's a boy, hat. A real 10-gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? What do you want, Excuse buddy? Excuse me, uh... Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Oh, there's Folks the sheriff. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. So just because he's not wearing his star, he's too scared to perform his duties as a sheriff. <sighs> like, dude, there's this literal crime happening in your town. Like, why? Like, we know, like, there's literally a dude who is actively admitted to being a wrestler, a thief. We could, you know, we could really use you to arrest him. Yeah, where's it? Some rustlers took my cousin's hog. Exactly, Freddy. And we know where they are. Yeah. Can you go and arrest them. I can't yeah. Help. I'm not the sheriff anymore. Yes, you shrimp are. Without a gold star, as well. Just a shrimp. Ugh. Do you think I could borrow your hat for a little while? I'd bring it back. Absolutely not. I need the hat. That is, now that I'm not the sheriff anymore, I, I just can't show my face in public. I don't know how good of a sheriff he could have been in the first place. I really used to love being a lawman. A road tall, I arrested folks. Can't you get your sheriff star back? Me? What can I do? I'm not the sheriff anymore, you know. You're the same not person without the star. star. <clears throat> Coward. Who was it who took your star? Yeah. It was that five finger gang. They, 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 they. What is it? They called me Shrimp. But isn't that your name? Hey, it is. They took it by calling you your name? Dude's off his rocker. What did your sheriff star look like? Thank like you, Freddy. Any other starfish. Except it was gold, of course. You just wear a gold starfish? Boy, I love being sheriff. On the criminals off to the old hoose gal. Seems to me the jail had better ventilation than this hat, too. We'll help you get your star back. Yeah! Anything else to say? Did you ever arrest any wrestlers when you were sheriff? Well, sure. All the time. Drink. Then usually they'd steal the silverware Ooh. from the jail, and I'd have to arrest them all over again. They'd steal the silverware? I feel like if you're punishing someone who's already in jail, you're not re-arresting them? Eh, terminology. I'll bet there are all sorts of terrible crimes being committed now that I'm not the sheriff anymore. The jaywalkers must be having a field day! Not to mention those hogfish rustlers. Oh yeah, them too. So you're out there arresting jaywalkers? I knew you were a dirty cop. One time, back when I was sheriff, I arrested six barracuda at once for being disrespectful to my seahorse. 
We're going to help you get your share of star back. So he missed people Aren't for being Luca? disrespectful yeah. to his seahorse and for jaywalking. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I gotta, uh, gotta get my water in my throat. I got like phlegm or something. <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, that should do it. Mike, I don't think I want to live in the town where this guy is the sheriff. He's going to arrest me for making fun of his seahorse or for jaywalking. Like, I know they can't have him arresting people for, like, serious stuff because it's a kid's game, but come on, like, from hindsight as an adult, that. He, he just seems like a dirty cop, honestly. Well, not dirty. Dirty would say he's doing something illegal. Just like, I don't know, someone who goes mad with power on a power trip. A bad cop. I don't know what the term is. But if I could just turn to him to say something, say nothing, then turn back. Did you ever arrest any wrestlers when you were sh All right, I think that's all the dialogue. Moving on. Ooh. Look, it's a suitcase. Phew. Excuse it's me. It's no use. It won't budge. Phew. We'll have to find some way to move that anchor. That's an anchor? It looks just like a normal weight to me. The anchor is holding it down. Phew. I don't think we're going to be able to move this as long as there's a big heavy anchor on top of it. <laughs> Why would somebody put an anchor on top of a suitcase? Maybe it was an accident. Or maybe they're trying to hide what's inside of it. If they're doing that, why wouldn't they just throw it into the pit there? I guess maybe they'd want to come back for it later. But you could also hide it at the bottom of the pit. <clears throat> like a place where you'd know. Phew. The anchor is holding it down. I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber. And he's a whale! Gotta be an honorary uncle then. There's no way Tiny Little Luther is actually blood related to a whale. I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my uncle Blubber. And he And what does the let's see what they say when I click on the balloon. The buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. How come the buoy is only floating a little bit? It looks kind of deflated. Oh. This to be a buoy? Weird looking buoy. With hey the Freddy, what does deflated mean? It means there isn't very much air in it. Ah, vocab lessons with Freddy Fish. This buoy would work a lot better if we could somehow pump more air into it. Yeah, the queen died. I just got, got told earlier in the stream. I saw her like that she was sick. But like, she... And like... But, like, I only heard that she actually died on the stream. That is going to cost a lot of money. Because, like, there's, like, going to be, like, a three-day holiday for, like, mourning. Which is going to cost a lot of money. And then they have to, like, reprint all the currency. And this is going to be, a, this is going to cause a huge economic ripple effect. The word buoy sounds funny when you say it. It does, Buoy. Luther. Buoy. Buoy. Buoy, hey. buoy, buoy, buoy. You're right, it is a funny word. How can we put more air into the buoy? We need to use some kind of a pump. It's kind of a sad looking little buoy, isn't it? It just needs a little air. Yeah. How can we put more air into the buoy? We need to use. All right, what's in this cave? Oh, jellyfish, so you have to, like, time it. Yeah, I remember that. Ooh, a crank. We I knew we could do it. A go oh, another surple boy. sea urchin. See surple another sea urchin. Purple, purple, purple sea urchin. Sea urchin. <clears throat> it's a crank handle. 
What my throat is here all so by full itself. of phlegm today. Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Who knows? Yeah, in this game, they're getting really good at the animation. I think Freddy, Fish, and Luther look really good compared to the last few games. Okay, what is there to click on? Oh, they just let you leave. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, so that you don't get stuck there. He bit his own tail, or I guess his friend's tail. Moving on. Let's buy that pack of gum. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum. We have two please. sea urchins. And we're gonna need to buy both to complete the game. Excellent. Might Excellent. as well get it now. Super rubber bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now. The gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Hey, they can actually Freddy, eat it, I remember. Can I have a piece of that gum? Sure. Mmm, this is really chewy. Mm. I think I... Mm. Oops. Huh, I swallowed it. Isn't it, like, dangerous? Like, Luther, the, the dude said that you said stuff for roofing. Do you want another Freddy, one? can I have another piece of that gum? Sure. Mmm, I like the rubbery flavor, and it's so chewy. I'm going to try to blow a bubble. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know how to blow a bubble. <laughs> I swallowed I don't know how to again. blow a bubble in bubble gum either, Luther. Don't worry. Any more Freddy, dialogue? Can I have another piece of gum? Are you going to chew it or just swallow it? Very funny. Ooh. Oops. He didn't even chew it that time. He just entirely swallowed it. Any Freddy, more dialogue? Can I have some more gum? Yes. Hmm. Okay, my jaws are tired. Mm. Did you just swallow your gum again? It's not bad once you get used to it. Luther! Freddy, can I have some more gum? Yes. More dialogue? Mmm. Okay, my jaws are tired. Okay, so that's less dialogue. I think I'll try some of that gum we bought. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. I'm not sure this is even gum. It tastes like rubber. I mean, Luther likes it. Maybe I'll give that gum another chance. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this might be the worst gum I ever tasted. Any more Freddy, dialogue? Maybe you should try another piece of gum. Hmm. Uh, I guess so. So Luther now has to talk Freddy into it. Gum number three. <sighs> no? Nope. Still tastes like rubber. Now, Luther had four pieces of dialogue. I bet Freddy does as well. Maybe I'll give that gum another chance. I think this might be the worst gum. Alright. You, you want any? Would you like some gum? Sorry, kid. No refunds. 
I could exchange it for you, uh, but the rest of the gum is, um, on reserve for somebody. No, I just thought you might like to have a piece. Oh, no thanks, kid. I never touch the stuff. Yeah, you're suspicious as hell, my dude. Hey, you want some gum? Um, excuse me, would you like some bubble gum? Not now. I'm too depressed for chewing. Okay. Mask him again once we get him his star. Let's <laughs> offer them some gum. Would you like some gum? Is it coffee flavored? No. No, thanks. Do you want some gum? Would you like some gum? Oh, gum! Good exercise for the jaw muscles! Oh, Wiggly's Plankton Mint is my favorite kind! We've got Super Rubber Bubble! Oh, well, thanks anyway. I think I'll just grit my teeth instead. Okay. That's so bad for your teeth. You're gonna need to go to the dentist. You guys want some gum? Would any of you like a piece of gum? What flavor you got? The label says licorice, but it actually tastes more like rubber. Ew! Uh, I can't buy licorice. I think we'll pass, but thank you for offering. Sure. Anyone in here want some gum? Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said? Well, oh, I bet he's Mr. Big. Try it. I bet that's Listen, who we I bet he's Mr. I gotta Big. Go customer. you like a piece of gum okay but only if you've got bubble bomb chewy coral flavor that's the only gum i chew ours is super rubber bubble oh well thanks anyhow you're welcome do you want some would you like a piece of gum oh thanks but i got a bum tooth right now it must be all the soda okay Ugh, you got cavities poor dear I wonder if we go back in if he has even more dialogue. Nope. He doesn't. Hey, let's see if the wrestler dude wants any. He doesn't seem like the chewing gum type. Alright, fine. Oh, let's see if your cousin wants any, Freddy. Would you like a piece of gum? Oh, I'm just too worried to chew gum. It's just about feeding time for the hogfish, you know. Oh, poor dears. Alright, what's this way? Ooh, he had, that must be the bandana we need there. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no wrestlers to speak of. Ha, he knows wrestlers, but no, I get it. I think we need to get that suitcase and then give him the suitcase in exchange for this. So we have something to carry his toys in. How do you get the name Sahara Slim? Why, I once crossed the Sahara Desert in nothing but a glass full of water. It took three weeks, but I made it. Wow, is that true? Mostly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Betty's got a whole bunch of Are tall you tales. From around here, Slim? Nope. Ooh, just passing through on my way to Monte Carlo. Where I plan to hit it big. Hit what big? Well now, I guess I hadn't quite thought that part out yet. <laughs> Say, have you kids ever been a Cucamonga? No. Well, I was traveling through there once when I was set upon by a pack of wild blubberfish. What do you mean set upon? I mean, they were sitting right on me so I couldn't get up. <laughs> they are. What did you do? Well, I tricked them into having a breath-holding contest with me. They all took deep breaths, and when they were full of air, they just floated away. Is that true? Mostly. You know, young fella, you remind me of a crocodile I met once up around Winnemucca. I do? Yep. Are these real place green, names? Just like Winnemucca? He swallowed me whole, he did. Wow. How did you escape? Well, I just sprinkled some paper on him, and he sneezed me right back out again. Say, maybe that's where I left my paper shaker. Did that really happen? Most of it. 
You're missing your pepper You've shaker? You've lots of places, haven't you, Slim? Oh, yeah. Abilene, Bogalusa, Chattanooga, I've been there. Once I was even in two places at the same time. But that's kind of a long story. I kind of want to hear that. That sounds almost impossible. You certainly had an interesting life, haven't you, Slim? Well, let's see. I was once in a hollering contest against the legendary Paul Grunion. Uh -huh. I beat him by swallowing a bullhorn. <laughs> really? Wow! Do you have any more good stories to tell? I met the Queen of the North Sea once at a rodeo down in Tonopa. She was in disguise, but I recognized her straight off. She knighted me on the condition that I not tell anybody. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> tell us another story about your adventures. One time in Pocatello, my buddy Two Carboni and I got hold of a turtle that laid golden eggs. I didn't think they tasted any too good, though. So I let Money keep the turtle. Gee. I, I feel like that, that's not what you'd use the eggs for. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim's special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. Hmm. What if we can get him something for that? Any more good stories to tell? Yeah, more stories. You no, know, I invented the method they use for pouring soda underwater. Yep, I'd be a wealthy fish if that eel sire Spizzlebig hadn't beaten me to the patent office. Oh well. Wow. The method for pouring soda underwater. I guess that makes sense. Like, I mean, it doesn't make sense, sense, but like, yeah, that seems to like be pretty difficult. Normally, the soda would dissipate. So I guess there had to be some way of keeping the soda separate from the air around us so that the fish could drink it. Tell us another story about Not the air around us, the water around us. They once put my picture in the newspaper by mistake. Instead of a picture of that famous bank robber, Fast Willie Salmon. Uh oh. I had to swim all over the county and buy up every copy before anyone else could get one. Boy, oh boy, was I tired. Gee. I feel like you could sue them and get a lot of money for a mistake like that. You certainly had an interesting life. Haven't you, Slim? Once, near Amarillo, I wrestled a bullfish to the ground with one fin tied behind my back. I told him down was sideways and he fell right over. Not too bright, these bullfish. Really? Wow! Do you have any more good stories to tell? So much one dialogue. Time, tell my buddy Two Carboni and I got hold of a turtle that laid golden eggs. Oh, we've run out of dialogue. What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Yeah. Not for super stew. What else what about else it? What else is in the stew? Yeah. Secret ingredients. Like what? If I told you they wouldn't be very secret now, would they? Well, come on, you can Are tell you us. sure you won't tell me what else yeah. is in the stew? Yeah. Can you keep a secret? Yes. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> That's actually funny. Please. Tell us what's in the super Pretty stew. Please. I'm afraid I can't do that. Because it's a secret? Because I don't know. I bought the stew from a fellow in Monterey last spring, and he said the ingredients were secret. You've been cooking the stew since last spring? Well, it has to simmer a while to mellow the flavors. I feel like there wouldn't be much left after that. Hello, remembering mermaids. I'm... Is the stew ready yet? Oh, almost. Is the stew ready yet? So at this point, he just keeps taking spoon fills and saying it's not ready yet. He's out of dialogue, I think. Oh, almost. All right, we have dialogue there. I, I think we can get him like some sort of condiment to add to this to make it ready. But I don't know whether that's in this playthrough or a different one. I have to talk to him about hey, his sack. Is that a Because we need that bandana. Got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Gear, he says. He's got a freaking rubber ducky. I think that's pretty neat the way you can carry your stuff in a bandana. Oh, I reckon. But most days I just wish I had a suitcase like everybody else. 
Yep, I'm gonna get that weight off the suitcase to give it to him. Looks like your bandana is getting a little frayed around the edges. Yep. Eventually, I figure it'll wear out altogether. Someday, I'd like to get something a little sturdier to carry my gear around in. Do you think you could let us have your bandana for a while? No, I reckon I'll need it until I can get a suitcase or something to carry my things in. Looks like your bandana is getting a little frayed around the... All right, right a dialogue. You want some gum? Would you like a piece of gum? Thanks, but I wouldn't want to spoil my dinner. It's gum. That doesn't sound like it would go very well. All right. Oh, three wood. That we I remember Look, we need this. Ready. A purple sea urchin. Remember the guy said we needed a seven by seven. We're rich. Take the seven by seven. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. You see that? Like, uh, can all fish do that? Or is that just a Freddy thing? Like, Freddy just crammed a giant chunk of wood into his fish pockets. Like, he's not wearing any clothes. So, like, these pockets, like, must be like some sort of pouch, like a, like a marsupial. And he just jammed that giant, like, his, his weird fish pockets are bigger on the inside. Freddy is some sort of, like, eldritch abomination. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver and it right he's away. He's suspicious too. Yes, sir. This is the fourth person who is super suspicious. Everybody being suspicious. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. I wonder if we leave and come back if he'll say more suspicious stuff. Nope. Hey, I heard you need this, right? That's not gonna do me any good. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Well, how is it still in my inventory? Oh, I, I remember. I like this scene. He, like, misses. And then his friend did <laughs> Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Put it in with one giant nail. So now does oh not only does the floor not match around it, but a nail that big. Like, I feel like it would come out there just and nail that big would be a tripping hazard. This is supposed to be a dance floor. And how did you get underneath that? Oh, we got people dancing on it now. <sighs> can we have a screwdriver now? Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. You guys got any more dialogue now that it's finished? Maybe we should be moving along to our next job. Uh, let's just have a little more coffee first. Agreed. You remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. Uh, what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of Bonacle Flats. Is a pyramid round? According to our blueprints, it is. Oh god, I'd never hire this guy for anything. You remember the monkfish java we had while we were working on the kelp seed silo? Yeah, excellent coffee. Say, didn't that building end up round too? I think you're right. You think we should uh, come to the square dance? I don't know. You're not exactly the best dancer. I'm a terrific dancer. It was just that one time that I slipped. I did wind up with a bruise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these two are definitely gay lovers. Like, there's no way around. These two are absolutely gay. Uh, what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of Bonacle. Right, there's one direction we haven't we haven't finished. Go in this direction. 
we came from here. Actually, what's for this dialogue if you want to take a second piece of wood? It's only one to a customer, and we already took one. Why does it say that? Come on, take we more wood. We don't need any more wood. Yeah, but we want more. We already used up our one piece of free wood. No one's looking. We don't need any more wood. Aww, I'm going to steal more wood. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Hey, that sail... Hmm. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I see. So if we let the water level down, it'll fill up this area and we can get in. I see. I haven't been clicking on things, I just realized. Ooh. Do you want more gum? That's not gonna do me any good. Okay, you can't give gum to the animate object. Quick handle obviously goes... Actually, I want to see what dialogue Freddy has. there's a handle missing from this crank. Yeah. There we go. Let's bring down that sail. Now we've got a handle on that sail. Ah, oh, <laughs> terrible pun. It's a screwdriver. Let's get that sail down. You can do it, Freddy. Here, let me help. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Just had to like get the initial inertia going. We did it, Luther! Why is the room spinning? There you go. Not Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Can you touch it again? No? Okay. So I should have filled it up. Yeah, I know everything's underwater. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Whoa! Hang on. So it's filled all the way up there. Like, even this is underwater. But, like, it was... It was dropping into there. So you'd think whatever it was would have already... What? What? Whatever. What's in here? Oh. It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? Luther, that doesn't seem yummy. It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. Any more dialogue if we click it again? I like this lemongrass stuff. Any more dialogue? That makes you look funny. I hope my lips don't get stuck that way. I don't think you can eat so many things in this game. I'm Any going more to dialogue? try a little more lemongrass. I think I'd rather just have lemonade myself. Mmm, delicious. Hey, Luke is having fun and I want to hear more dialogue. Is it all of three, or is Maybe there more I'll to here? Maybe I'll just have one more taste of lemongrass. Some kind of condiment, right? Can your eyes see each other when you do that? That's really sour. Am I going to play Wizard 101 tomorrow? Um, I think so. I think that's what my schedule says. Hang on, let me check. Do, 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 do. Yep. So the next stream should be Wizard 101. I'm, I'm not sure if the stream is going to be tomorrow, though. It depends on what my hours are. So um, it's just whenever the next stream is, it will be Wizard 101. I'm going to try a little more lemongrass. I mean, it is my usual schedule. Uh. <laughs> 
I think I'd rather. Yeah, I think it's. Let's try the pepper. It's pepper. Really? Luther, you're you're absolutely crazy. Huh? 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 Bless you. Wow. So it's like. He took it in through his mouth and still somehow sneezed. So either it also got on his face while he was imbibing it, or somehow some of it got up his sinuses, which sounds very painful. Any more dialogue? Luther's just that crazy. Uh, 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 nope, no more dialogue. He just sneezes. Thanks. So if this is lemongrass and this is pepper, what's this? It's cayenne. Cayenne? Cayenne um, pepper. Cayenne is kind of hot. Luther's just crazy. It feels like my tongue's on fire! You're the one who ate it. Is it? No. It looks okay. Like a like Ooh. a window. Any more dialogue? I guess the cayenne won't seem as hot to me now. Okay. Luther just wants to test his limits. That makes the roof of my mouth hurt. Any more dialogue? I think I'll try some more cayenne. Maybe I just got the extra spicy part before. Again? You're level 121? No, sorry. Well, 120? Good for you. That makes the roof of my mouth... Alright, not a dialogue. Let's see. After we fed the Luther a lot of weird stuff. Oh, boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Hey, look. MSG. It spells out MSG. Let's see, what do we need? I think these rusty look nice. Hmm. Oh, that's got it. Yay! Got the letter S, and we still have the screwdriver. Can we take both? One letter. But I'm not level 150. I'm still like, I think I'm at 89 currently. She so can only take one letter. Come on, I want to steal all three. I really only need one letter. Where does what say I'm level 150? Because I'm most certainly not. Calendar. Boat. Anything else? Another boat. Toot toot. Bigger boat. Back to the start. Okay. Pump. We need this pump. That was supposed to be a joke? Alright. Luther! Luther! Don't do that! You take care of your care of yourself. You should be more careful. Yeah, oh, why sure. isn't Freddy's mouth now moving? You tell me. But into the magical fish pockets. What's in the trash can? Boots, some some fish skeletons. Oh, a catfish burglar. Cat burglar fish. 
coming out the vents and like a dog trying to chase him. Wow, an Among Us reference in like the early... T when did this game come out? This game came out in 1999. Look, venting in 1999. You got him! Catch him! Ooh, a switch. Oh, where does it go? Red, green, yellow. You play games in 1925? Sure you do. Oh, there they all go. Whee! They make a big group. Okay, moving on. Ooh. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. I don't know how to take care of the, the, the hogfish. Do I want a truth or dare? Not right now. I'm busy playing the game. They're letting the hogfish they kidnapped push them around. Alright. Actually, no, wait, this isn't the way I want to go. Here we go. Now you want to inflate hey, this. Hey, I've got an idea. <coughs> oh, we lost the pump. Be free, little boy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye. I don't Bye, think buoy. that buoy should be able to lift a weight that looks that heavy. Like, if that's supposed to be solid, like, metal all the way through, I really don't think that buoy would be able to lift it. And, like... Where do these hogfish are such picky eaters since pinkies are known to eat anything and everything? Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. But, like, it... Actually, where is that air pump getting the air? Like, we are underwater. Air pumps work by pulling air just from around it. So where is the air pump getting the air to fill it? Freaking witchcraft, I'm telling you. Eh, these earbuds are annoying my ears. This is why I wear headphones. But we make do because I keep breaking my dang headphones. It's always the cords. I seem to keep damaging the cords. Wrong way. One way we haven't gone yet. Wait a minute, we didn't pick up... Silly me, I didn't pick up the... I need to pick Look up the Luther, briefcase. This suitcase had a three-ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Hmm. Wow! There was oxygen and water? Well, yeah, but that air of that pump, which would have to be a really complicated device to, like, take something out of the water to turn it into some type of gas. Like, that had to be a very, very technologically advanced air pump to be to be designed to work underwater. Alright. Here you go. Here, this suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. He's giving it the old test. Looking a gift horse in the mouth, huh? He owns a lot of stuff. Does everybody in this game have like weird containers that are bigger on the inside? Like his bandana, Freddy's weird fish pockets. Oh, and the kitchen sink. Thanks. Yes, 
everything that we need. Uh, what else is over here? We haven't gone that way yet. Whoa! Oh, he's trying to put him to sleep. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Wait, are those actual sheep and not sheepfish? Please. Why steal hogfish if you don't know how to take care of them? Please just go to sleep. Please. Yeah, you deserve this for stealing these poor fish. Hello, sir. Hello. Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. His mailbox is broken. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. What else you gotta say? Tip it? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. So was it like his mailbox and his house? I know we need that for like oh, the belt no. buckle. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Got any more dialogue? Please, you're frightening me. You don't have to be scared. We won't hurt you. Sorry, it's not you. It's me. I'm a hermit crab, you see. We scare easily. Oh, well, well, try not to startle you. Thank you. Aww. Oh, Mr. Tippet? <laughs> What's wrong? I'm sorry. It's just that I'm a little afraid of the color green. Oh. You're surrounded by the color green. Why would you move to this specific house? Oh. Like, you... You have green literally all around you. Why would you move to this guy? Maybe he's just afraid of all colors. Mr. Tippet! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little afraid of my name, too. Tippet? <laughs> yes. Maybe you should This guy's just then. afraid of everything, what? then. Um, Smith? He's afraid of that too, I guess. Oh. What thing scares you the most? Mostly, I'm afraid the mail's never going to get here. I wonder what could be keeping the mailman. Oh. What other dialogue do you got? Are you afraid of a lot of things? Oh, yes. Practically everything. You yeah, that's what I thought. Spaghetti. spaghetti. Spaghetti? Oh, yes. It wiggles all around like that, and I just get the willies. This guy needs professional help. Uh, what else are you afraid of? Crabs. But you're a crab. Yeah. I know. Yeah, this guy needs, like, real therapy. Like, intensive therapy. Uh. What else are you scared of? Paper. You can get paper cuts from it, you know. You should try a cardboard cut. Cardboard cuts hurt even worse than paper cuts, in my opinion. Oh, no. It's missing. Are there other things you're afraid of? Sea pens scare me. I can't shake the feeling that I'm going to poke myself with them. Aw, oh, he keeps hurting his claw oh, trying to shut no. it. I just noticed that. Are there other things you're afraid of? Ferris wheels? Ferris wheels? Maybe you don't see too many of those underwater. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of stuff down here you wouldn't expect to see underwater. Oh, no. Are there other things you're afraid of? Octopi. I always think they're going to tickle me with all those arms. And I Octopi. can't stand to be tickled. 
I don't trust a man who, who pronounces it octopi. It's octopuses. In my opinion. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. I know te both words can shut. technically be used and considered correct, but... What else are you afraid of? I'm afraid of singing. Last year, carolers came to my mailbox and they broke out in hives. That sounds like an allergy to singing rather than a fear. Oh, no. Yes, Freddy, we know it's missing a hinge. Say. Do you hear the mailman coming? I don't think so. Oh. Uh. Say, do you hear the mailman coming? I don't think. Is that all you're gonna say from now on? Did I use up all your dialogue? What else are you afraid of? Vegetables. Vegetables. Mostly that's because of the green thing, though. I don't like vegetables much either. Like, I'm not afraid of them, but I'm not a big fan of eating them. Oh, no. Yes, Freddy, we know. Anything else you're afraid of? Come on, finish your hey, idle animation. Do you hear the mailman come? Nope. Come on, I'm hitting the escape key. Skip your animation. Anything else to say? Anything else you're afraid of? What else are you afraid of? I'm terrified of success. If I were successful, people would want to talk to me and things like that. Scary. This guy desperately needs professional help. Like, I don't understand how he oh, has survived no. in society until now. What else are you afraid of? Oh, pretty much everything. You name it, it scares me. Alright, I think we're done talking to him. Next. Oh, wait, let's offer him some gum. I don't think I need that right now. You want some gum? That's not gonna do me any good. Oh, most characters say something when you offer them gum. Let's go this way. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my <laughs> best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Your most name is so long do. you can't remember it? Like, most people with long names in fiction are able to, like, recite the entire thing. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. <laughs> How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. You, you dropped your Do mail. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. Well, he hasn't. Has he not had needed to eat in those two years? Would it help I mean, if we gave you a push? No, I don't think so. I mean, you can't say the man isn't dedicated to his job. Isn't there any way you could go faster? If my wagon worked, I could. Sometimes, if I think speedy thoughts, it helps. Right now, I'm imagining I'm a train. I hope you're still thinking speedy thoughts. I'm imagining I'm a train. Are you still thinking speedy thoughts? I'm imagining I'm a train. That's all you have to say? Keep thinking those speedy thoughts. I'm imagining I'm a train. Yeah, I get that. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. So we need to buy that nut. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Need a circular one. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer. Elmer? Like the glue? That's not a very nice name. I bet you'd like to go for a run, wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe we can talk to the horse. Word we're not supposed to say around him? Oh, yeah. Glue! 
Freaks out hey, when he hears the boy. word blue. What a pretty seahorse you are. Elmer used to be a champion racer when he was younger. He keeps dropping his his uh letter. Freddy, do you think we could go for a seahorse back ride on Elmer? Elmer's not ours, and besides, he's working right now, Luther. He doesn't look like he's working too hard to me. Well, he's been stuck there quite a while without much to do. He must be a thoroughbred fish. He sure looks fast. Elmer used to be a champion racer when he was younger. What was that word we're not supposed to say around? All right. Oh. You want some? Let's give Elmer some gum. Uh, Luther, gum is probably not good for seahorses. You want some gum? Would you like a piece of gum? No time for gum. I'm in a hurry. Oh, this is a game. I want to play this. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. you can't let them touch you. Well, the problem is it, like, moves you around. I see. I remember this. I had a lot of fun with this game when I was a kid. So you have two different versions of seahorses, sentient and non-sentient. Yeah! Basically. Because we have absolutely seen sentient seahorses before. Like, some are, some seahorses are people, some are basically actual horses. I feel like this is a pretty good strategy, just literally stay in the corner. Like, just stay in the corner and nothing's gonna get at you. Oh god. These don't reach far enough to pop those. Uh, am I supposed to be able to get out of there? Do the arrow keys let me move? So if they could get stuck, if bubbles get stuck in that corner, I'm just kind of stuck here. I remember this game being a... Come on. There we go. Oh, I see. I gotta shoot in a different direction to get me closer. I gotta shoot behind me to move me. So if I get caught in a bubble, I lose. Can you, like, recognize next level, please? Is there a bubble I'm missing? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure the level will still be there when I come back. Alright, so I think what we need to do next... Was hey, here, Chen. What's round and purple and pokey? Hey, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. So I don't think this guy is meant to be sentient, and yet he's, he's wearing we a hat. Have that shark. Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Eat the anchor. That's actually terrifying. Where did those purple and, and pink particles come from? Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. I know we're supposed to give him the gun, but I want to feed him all the things. You do marching band, Freddy? Believe how quickly do, do, he's do, eating do, this do, stuff. Do, 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 do. Let's throw him a shoe. Look out! I don't 
think I've ever seen anyone eat so fast. I mean, I've seen you swallow gum pretty quick, Luther. One, two, three! And I think there's like an infinite number of these that you can throw at him. That rubber tire seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. Yeah, the pile never goes down. Here, have some gum. Give him the gum. You're not even gonna unwrap it first? Ooh, dramatic. That ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. It's a different color. Before it was pink when everyone else was eating it, now it's purple. Hmm. Oh, starfish. Like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Yeah. Uh, so let's. Go give it to him. Hey, you want the starfish? Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Wait, can't you Rustlers arrest those rustlers? Found. Sheriff Shrimp is back We know where the wrestlers are. But we know where the rustlers are. Yeah. Uh, you there, that's a loading zone. Uh. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! I would not want to live in the town where he's the sheriff. Oh boy, a 10 gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. I believe we need to dye it purple, and I know just where to do it. Goby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks Why a lot. Why'd you give him an accordion? I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, right, I'm dying the hat. Do me a favor and spit in that. Thank you. You said you were peeking in for change, as I recall. There we go. Oh. 
shove it in. There we go. Oh, I get funny finds are kind of gross. To be fair, that is their bodily fluids. I, I, I kind of get your disgust, Freddy. This purple is much better. Yeah, that's right what we need. Now, all we gotta do is buy that nut, and everything follows. Let's buy that nut. We need a circular one, I believe. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's two. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. We have one purple sea urchin. Here you go. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, that is you Gil, can bring yeah, it back that's the same character. For a different one. If we you clicked on him enough, Freddy will actually ask if he previously worked at a carnival. And he has the same name when he gives his business, business card. This one looks Still good. a freaking scam artist, I'm pretty sure. Thank you. No, I mean, all the stuff he sells. You. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another uh, wheel nut. Plus, we don't have the money. I mean, all stuff he sells us works as... Good oh. evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Suspicious. So many people seem like they could be involved in the wrestling. So much suspicious stuff. Okay. So look, it still looks like there's like a purple sea urchin there, even though there isn't. It's like it doesn't actually disappear. Alright, let's fix his wheel. We did it. It's fixed, and it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks him something awful. What's he got against glue? Uh-oh. <laughs> that thing for two years. Yay! Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. No, I'm gonna keep bothering you for dialogue. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Tippett? 
Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. Mr. Tippett? Leave me alone. I'm busy hermiting. All right. Anything Hello, else? Oh, Mr. Tippett. Whatever you're selling, I don't want any. Uh, Mr. Tippett? I gave at the office. Is hermiting hard work? Very. And you have to be alone to do it. Is hermiting anything like knitting? No. Now go away. Now, if you want me to go away, you shouldn't have so many lines of unique dialogue. Mr. Tippett? Leave me alone. I'm busy hermiting. All right. Like I said, if you want somebody in the game to leave you alone, you should not have several different lines of unique dialogue. It's just you ready? Still ready yet? <sighs> oh, oh. Almost. I think he, oh, he just always says almost until you give him the spices, but you can't give him the spices in this run of the game. Now you go to him and you make a belt buckle out of these. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said your calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials will we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle making equipment. Mm. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. Sure but it does. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Right. All right, here's the back. Yeah. Can you make us a belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. I wonder what happens if you pick him the wrong letter, if he can change Here, it out. This is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. Here we go. This dream is like it's some super serious thing. Yikes! Why do you need some big machine? What are you gonna do? Super special training, my, my ass. Best work. All that's missing is a belt. Here you go. You don't even Thank need you. that big machine for anything. You're just being showy. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Torso. Please call me Nelson. Uh, he ain't special. Charging for something we could have done ourselves. Well, not charging, I guess. I guess we did get that for free. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. Boing. I wish my belly made sound effects when I did that. Like that, you know, wouldn't it be cool if like your belly made those sound effects? I wish mine did. All right, let's go put on the stuff. First, put on the hat. All right, let's do the belt buckle first. What do you think? It might be a little big for yeah. you. Yeah. Do I look like a rustler? Oh. Yes. And a bandana. Huh? This will make me look even more like a rustler. Yeah. And a hat. That's a 
That's a great wrestler disguise, Freddy. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. Ready, let's go. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Smart. Right. I'm coming with you. Good thing, <laughs> Luther. Luther, you let's can see his, your tail. The guard. This guy have to be pretty stupid. Hold Actually, it. he is this pretty is stupid. A... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. Like, if there's a specific uniform that all wrestlers wear, wouldn't it be just super easy to arrest anyone I wearing that same Mr. outfit? Big must have sent you to help us out with the but then again, maybe there would be, like, profiling. Mm. Poor Mori. He's having so a maybe that wouldn't hold up in court. Fish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Uh-oh! Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Uh-oh! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Luther, take this seriously. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Door is still locked. You gotta You're take all right, the cannonballs Luther. off this trap There's door. There's got to be some other way out of this room. These guys are so hey, bad at their job. Like, how like do they not notice? Like, like actually, who installs a trap door in a jail cell? Like, why is that here in the first place? Well, maybe this cell was converted. Maybe this was converted to a jail cell later on, and they just never thought to notice. Here. That's the door that's... under all those balls? But still, extremely incompetent of them, either way. Let's get out of here. Yeah! Down we go! Hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. They're sentient? Holy cow, I forgot they were sentient. I, yeah. So this is this isn't just stealing, this is actual kidnapping. Oh, the hogfish are sentient. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. Jesus. Oh no, not again. Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. My name's Grunt. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. Like, like, Freddy's cousin did not mention that this was an actual kid camping. Like, I thought that these were livestock. No, these are sentient creatures that are, like, under her custody. Like, like these are basically, like, like, her legal... What the hell? We've been working on the window bars a little bit, but we couldn't manage to break them. Freddy and I will find you a way out of here. Great. There's so many of them. Like, you guys are all sentient. Why couldn't you just rush the danged guards? They're not that smart. Just rush them, and, like, when they open the door. We'd better hurry. Those wrestlers could be back any minute. I hope we get out of here soon. I've been craving cherry kelp jubilee, and these rustlers are terrible cooks. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here in no time. Apparently, Freddy's cousin is a decent cook. Did I mention we've been working on the bars on that window? I think that might just be the way out of here. I really miss Calico's seaweed crepes. They were so delicate, they'd fall apart if you breathed on them funny. Is that good? They're delicious. Oh, God, now you're making me hungry. 
I don't even like seaweed. Don't worry. We'll have you out of here before you can say the cat sat on the hat and smashed it flat. I'm not sure I can say that at all. But thanks. Pretty long but saying. I hope we get out of here soon. I've been craving cherry kelp jubilee. Okay, we're at a dialogue. Let's take a look at those bars. Uh, 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 That's very interesting. These bars are a little loose. Do you think we can break them out? Not just by using our uh, fins. Hiccups. But I Yikes. think we can find a way to pull them out. Alright, so obviously we exit through here. Oh, the other ones, I think, talk to us. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Wow! Chain. This will never reach the bars while the anchor is down. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Yeah. This is a nice, dirty chain. So let's get that to the bars. Now how you have to click the end of it, I see. The chain won't quite reach the bars. Plus you need to attach it. Whoa, that is quite the impressive throw, Maybe Freddy. Maybe we can make it longer. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. So let's from around here. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Any more dialogue? Uh, uh, uh. This rudder is really hard to move. What is a rudder anyway? It's the part of the ship that moves when you turn the steering wheel. Thank you, Freddy. Lots of stuff to click in here. Hang on. What's it gonna land on? So there's a horseshoe, a clam, a sad face. What's the yellow one? Oh, a strawberry and a coin. Hmm. hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. <sighs> actually quite surprising that the rudder still actually turns after all this time. There you go. There's the hook. How are you going to attach it to the chain Look though? Look at this neat hook! Yikes! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? Watch it, Luther! I don't know. Gonna take Freddy's eye 
out. I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? I think okay. that's a good idea. Like, how are you gonna attach it onto the chain, though? Like, what is Freddy even gonna attach it with? Like, they're both closed loops. Like, how are you gonna do that? I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those Should bars. Drink a little more water. Oh, I gotta um, do something with it. Hang on. There we go. Like, how did how did Freddy attach those together? How? Huh? It's bending like rubber. All right. Yeah. Fire in the hole! This should huh? free those hogfish. Well, now Either it's not bending. To Make up your eager. mind, game. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! There we go. Now we take cover. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the whole thing came out. What? Go! Come back! Please come back. We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, yeah like you guys aren't deputized or anything. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the Ruckman. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I'm sure they could. I know they get Mr. Them to tell Big it. is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I bet they actually could get him, get them to, re to reveal. Like, they'd absolutely snitch in exchange for lesser sentence. So there was a sheet of music. So the, f so the four people who are suspicious is him, who is definitely hiding something because of the weird barbell he had, even though he's supposed to only sell buckles. Him, who sent, like, a letter to someone and was looking around shiftily. Him, who clearly owes money to someone. And him, who called someone sneakily on the phone about the note that was left on the ground. So not only is he the most suspicious of all because of that phone call, because the note directly related to where these guys were kept, but that sheet of music means it's this guy who played the piano. You did Bill, it! When we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. Yeah! We were talking about the note. Did, well, did I... Lu this Freddy's voice Later just come on, out of Luther? You made another call. This time you were talking about singing this little piggy. Well, sure. Freddy's voice is coming and out of when Luther's we mouth. Got here and found the hogfish. I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. That lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... you're... I'm Mr. Big. Yes. <gasps> oh, Don Stank, I guess to too early. Understand. It's just that I've got 17 children. He did say and that. I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought hogfish ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. 
You yeah. all ought to be ashamed. Again, you pretty voice coming from Luther. That don't belong to you. Now neither of their it mouths are moving. Other people, and it's just this... plain wrong. You're there. right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to They're happy justice. eating slaw, but earlier they were talking about all these Their fancy foods they usually get red. That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> He's being chased. <laughs> they look so happy. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hat! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Yay! Oh boy! Now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Uh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. You're not gonna keep singing? I'm gonna sing with you guys. Click on all the fishies as the credits play. And this is definitely my favorite game of the series. It gets fancier and fancier as time goes on, so I think five, Redfish 5 is even fancier than this, but 4 is definitely the one I'm most nostalgic about. Do a ha. Do a ha. Bonk. Duh bonk. Duh bonk. Donk. Donk. I got no one to click on. There we go. Zap noises. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> boingy, boing, boing, boing. So many different fish. There's just so much effort put into every aspect of the game, even these credits. Ah, we got a new fish. Ah, now we're just getting repeat fishes. Boink. They sing and sometimes they don't. Digital ink and paint. Oh, well, their name is Longfish. Not a lot of people did that. Oh, itchy back. Ah, there we go. Mm. Woo.
zoomies. He does the zoomies. Dialogue recorded at Bad Animals. Recording engineer Susie Brutke and Gio Van Der Heide. Featuring the voices of Annette Toot. I can't pronounce that. And Mike Mikoff. Mikoff. Fuck, I can't pronounce things. Addition to voice talent. Oh, only a handful of people. <laughs> noises are fun to mimic. Oh, okay, there's, there's even more voices. So, wait, wait, so. Okay, it feels like they could have listed more on that first page. <laughs> Copyright 1999, Humongous Entertainment Incorporated. All rights reserved. I think we should play like one more time after this, see if we can't get a different series of events. <laughs> oh, does it just loop? Yeah, I think it just loops. Do you really Let's play want again. to start the game? Yeah, oh, the fish are wearing hats this time. Most of you didn't get to see the intro because you weren't here at the beginning, so I'll let this play out. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear ten-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Anyway, let's see if the game plays any- if we have anything different this time. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! Yep! I'm raring to go! Let's go! I'll let this play again for anyone who didn't see the beginning. Hear all the dialogue. Hi, Cousin da, Calico! Da, oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, da, Luther! Da, We're da, ready to help out! Da, Which way to the hogfish? Da, da, well, it seems da, we got a little da, problem da, there. Da, see, my prize-winning hogfish da, herd is being da, 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 rustled. Da, what does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch the rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Oh, I remember what that area was for. The area that had nothing Look, in it. Freddy, a purple sea I think the boat is blocked before you can use it the first time. It's always blocked until you pick up the paper and open up the door so you actually know what you need to collect. Yeah, I'll demonstrate. Yeah, up here. It's in construction. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Oh, so those are cones. That's what those are. <gasps> Yeah. Road club. Alright. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome yeah, to... Yeah, I heard this spiel Just last time. Buckles. Yes. Uh Let's see. Look, Freddy. Maybe this is a clue. Let's get out of here. Is he gonna make the phone call? Suspicious man. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Did you? Alright, let's use that note. What does it say? 
Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high, high tide. tide. Memorize, Memorize the, the combination, combination and, then and then eat this note. note. Six two zero. Six two zero. This shouldn't be wood. Now I should go the zero. other direction. Be faster. Nine, eight, seven, seven six, six one, one, two. two. Now I should do it. We did it. Is he wearing anything different? Boy, I'll say. Uh, I oh, guess excuse the me. lock was the only thing holding the door on. Yeah. Oh, it. What's that racket? Uh oh. Someone's coming. Hurry. Yes, yes. Hurry, hurry. Is he wearing anything different? Ah, so oh, something is different sticks. this time. We need like a bow tie. The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. Good question. That must be one of the rustlers. Yep. The hogfish are in there. Eat the note, Luther. Hey, Freddy, eat it. Can we eat this note now like eat it. Does? Well... I guess we won't need the Luke combination needs so many anymore. different things in this game. He has a stomach of steel. I'm honestly jealous. I wish I could still eat like that. My god, I wish I could eat some of the things I could well, eat as a kid. I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. <laughs> Let's try to go and see what him give us the paper. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We yeah, yeah, yeah. might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? Stretch. That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. Mm -hmm. A belt buckle like mine. Mm -hmm. And a fashionable bow tie. Uh-huh. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, an orange 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. So let's see if anything's actually different. Yeah, 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 we've seen that scene. That's a All right, they need the wood. He needs the hat. Oh, something new. Here we go. Huh? Oof. Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. Can we get by, please? Pretty please? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Why can't you just leave? Like, so I can't just swim out. Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it. Reflex. Reflex? Happens whatever anybody gets near me. Well, just swim past out and past us. Huh? We'll just back up a bit and you'll swim by and then we can Do get in. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared! Scared of what? Why are you just sitting there? Or maybe you could go into the hole. You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! I wish there was some way we could stop you from holding your breath. You and me both? This isn't comfortable. Huh? I wish there was some way we could stop you from holding your breath. You and me both? This isn't comfortable. Alright, so that's all the dialogue he's got. So we need... Oh boy! A real 10-gallon hat! Need to find out what kind of starfish he needs. Thief! 
gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked on a hat? Come on, buddy, tell me what you need. What do I need to trade for you to give me Excuse that hat? Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver Just tell star. me what color star I need. Come on. Star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. What does it look like? Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish, and we know where they are. Can you go and arrest them? I can't help. I'm not the sheriff anymore. A shrimp without a silver star is, well, just a shrimp. Do you think I could borrow your hat for a little while? I'd bring it back. Absolutely not. I need the hat. That is, now that I'm not the sheriff anymore, I... I just can't show my face in public. Just tell me what it looked like. I really used to love being a lawman. A road yeah, yeah, dog. yeah. I arrested folks. Can't you get your sheriff star back? Me? What can I do? I'm not the sheriff anymore, you know. Not since they took my star. What does it look like? What color who is it? Who was it who took your star? It was that Five Finger Gang. They, 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 they. What is it? They called me. Shrimp. But isn't that your name? Hey, it is! Freddy, please just ask him what it looks like. What did your sheriff star look like? Thank you. Like any other starfish, except it was silver, It of was course. silver, not gold. Got it. I remember that. Okay, no briefcase this time. Yeah, still got it. Same thing as before for a sea really urchin and a crank. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Yay! And a crank. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by do itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah. I do doubt do it belongs do in do this do cave. Do I do wonder do how do it do got do in do here do anyway. Do Good do question. Do 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 I mean, oh, let's get the gum while we're here. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker. I know who I you are. We met you last Premium game. Gum and Wheelnut Company. Yep, Third yep. largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. Yeah, yeah, you're lying at your butt. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal. Yeah, Luka. we met last game. My Why do we not recognize each other immediately? To make room for next year's models. Everything I'm, must go. Look, I'm pretty sure Devon that in Gil some versions Parker of the previous game, we actually you got you arrested so for stealing. Low that you'll like, have why do you not recognize us? Like, on site. Great. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Yeah, there we go. Gum, gum, gum. And we never get that and that's a uh, blower fish, blow up fish. Super Whatever you call bubble him. is the most durable gum on the market. Uh, didn't you exist last game. So now we get to hear what now, he says when we the offer gum him gum. Is two purple sea urchins. So you yep. can give me the second one right away. Or if yep, you like, yep, yep. I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. I got it right here. Fair. Here's the second one. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Now let's pry into his private business. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? 
Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Uh-huh. That's an awfully strange poem. Alright, what size wood do you guys need? You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. Mm -hmm. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six feet by six feet. I remember that. Hey, buddy. My name's Freddy Fish, and we this need that is my bow tie. pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Mm -hmm. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. <laughs> Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my... I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. What'd you, you do that for? You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Why'd you do it? Harmonica, harmonica. To play you Whoop. was to kiss you. But my mic again. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Oh, Monica, how I miss you. Why did lovely. you trade away Absolutely your harmonica lovely. if you liked it so much? Yeah. Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. Anything hey, else? Hey, Slim, back when you had a harmonica, what were all your blues songs about? I used to mostly sing about not having a bow tie. And now you got a bow tie, you sing most of not having a harmonica, all right. At least it's a nice bow tie. Sure, but I'll trade it for ratty. a new harmonica in a second. This, could, this is the grass, he's the one of the grass is green on the other side type of people. <sighs> what is it, Slim? Oh, I was just thinking about how nice it was in the old days when I had, had a, harmonica a harmonica instead of this old bow tie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it's a nice bow tie. Sure, but I'd trade it for a new harmonica in a second. Mm-hmm. Harmonica, harmonica, to play you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you're cooking smells Let's hear about good. the stew. It's a Harris Lamb special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, not quite ready. Does it need something specific? What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for super stew. What else is in the stew? Secret ingredients. Like what? I told you they wouldn't be very secret now, would they? Are you sure you won't tell me what else is in the stew? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Yeah. Me too. I still think it's a very tell funny us what's line. In the super stew? I'm afraid I can't do that. Because it's a secret? Because I don't know. I bought <laughs> the stew from a fellow in Monterey last spring, and he said the ingredients were secret. You've been cooking the stew since last spring? Well, it has to simmer a while. Is the stew ready yet? Because I know one of these runs you can add something to the stew. Oh. Almost. Let's go looking. 
see your chin. What? Six by six. Go back this way. Give it to them. Mother. Take that. Back the way we were going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down here. We gotta flood the area. somewhere. Turn! There we go. Skip through. Ooh, oh, see your chin. Jar! Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. Yay! So this is the one where we can, like, put stuff in it. Hooray! Uh, what do we need? A really belt buckle with an hat. S. Hmm. An orange ten-gallon hat. Yep. Wait, not that one. We need this. Let's take off that S. Oof. Felt my whole desk then. Everything shook. That's got it. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Let's get some condiments. One container of lemongrass. Oh, boy! I don't know what he wants for this stew, but I'm hoping... I'm just trying to guess. Maybe we get him one container of each. Maybe we put it in when he's not looking. Would you like to have a little lemongrass? Oh boy, would I? Boing. Lemongrass is terrific in super stew. Let's get some pepper then. Let's get a little bit of each. Dump it out, get some pepper too. Da, 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 da. Pepper? Here, would you like some pepper? Well, thanks. Little bit of each. It's a terrific super stew. Boing. That ought to do it. Yeah. And then some cayenne. It's just pepper and it's like cayenne pepper. They're both types of pepper. There! One container. Here you go. That should make it done. How would you like some cayenne? Say, that would be great. Maybe the super stew will be done now. We put in all three. This is gonna be delicious. I bet it's done, right? Oh. See, hey, I think the super stew is about ready. Yay! Would you like to try some? Yeah! Oh, he's got tiny cup too. <coughs> what do you think? <laughs> Smooth. It's very strong. Interesting. I knew you like it. Yeah, can we get some of this? How about some more super stew? No, no thank, thank you. you. Do I need to find a bowl to put it in or something? Let's see, throw the gum at you. Hey, eat that. I need a silver starfish. Uh, wait a minute, I need to find out what kind of nut he needs. It looks Let's like take the a look. wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. 
What if it, like, I think completing the super stew isn't actually necessary to complete the game. You just need a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Triangle nut. Gil, here's three. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, do please. Do do Certainly. Do 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 now. The nuts cost three per Yep, 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 urchins. three, three, so three. I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two yep. purple seeds. Yep, I give you the other one if you shut and up. may I say that a fickle fit you talk too nut much. is really an excellent investment. Yeah. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple Here you go. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. Do, do. You can select any shape you like. need the triangle. Looks good. Do, do, thank do, you. Do. No, thank you. Let's do, buy another do, wheel do, nut. Do, do. I don't think we need one. We don't have the money either. Good evening, sir. I'm May gonna I watch him get threatened in? again because I don't like him. You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Yeah, you got uh, him, Gil. Not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. So apparently the monetary system is like pretty. Orange sea urchins no, are worth more than purple sea urchins. An and clams are don't also worry. worth more than purple I've sea urchins. Really big deal. But uh, our clams are worth more than orange yeah. sea urchins. What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. Here you go. Here's your, here's your silver Here, star. I believe this is yours. Oh, we need Pepper to make the kid sneeze. Starfish! Yahoo! Oh, and I never gave the kid gum to see his reaction. I Dang can't it. Thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about I can't believe I forgot. Oh well. Hat. Sure. I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Man, there's so many food. Talk so much talk about food in down. this game. I'm getting hungrier well, and hungrier. Going to a restaurant uh, tonight with my family, there. so. That's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us to catch It'll those be nice. and rescue the hog. Yep, fish. yep, yep, yep. Let's ride. Yeah. Come on, go, go, go. You want some pepper? Oh. Here, try some cayenne. Okay. Hot? Wow! Do you want some more? Have some more cayenne. So we can just keep... Sure. I guess he likes it. Yeah, do you have any more dialogue if I give you even more? Have some more cayenne. Thanks! Oh, I wonder if you can offer other characters it. I bet he doesn't have a third bit of dialogue. Mm. Boy, that's hot stuff! Well, I guess, okay. Hey, Gil, you want some cayenne? Maybe your gum would taste better with some spices in it. Better? My super rubber bubble is already the finest tasting gum there is. It tastes like and rubber. And besides, spices interfere with the vulcanizing process. Oh. 
Would you like some cayenne for your coffee? Yuck! That sounds awful. No, thank you. All right. Oh, there's no one here to ask if they want any. Wait a minute. That's not gonna do me. Okay, I can't give you anything. Maybe we should give the shark some cayenne. I don't think it goes well with bubble gum. Here, would you like some of this? Sure. Oh, he eats it. <gasps> Ooh, he likes it. Maybe he'll go faster if we give him some cayenne. Want Here. even more? Would you like some of this? Sure. Does he have any more dialogue? I don't think I ever tried giving them to, to him as a kid. I think this is something new I've never seen before. Hmm. Is this your seahorse? Yep. His name's Elmer. Would it be all right if we gave Elmer some cayenne? Oh, no. Elmer's on a very strict diet. Ah. Oh. Can I give Pepper to anybody else? Maybe someone back in town. You want some you Pepper? Like cayenne? Cayenne overstimulates my circulatory system and makes it more difficult to gain muscle mass. Huh. How about some cayenne? Why, well, sure, that'd be right nice. Oh, I guess they like it. Yeah, that's not bad. But it don't come within a barnacle's breath of stumping out the taste of the ink. Yep. Yep. Oh, you can just give it to... Okay, I, I never tried this as a kid. How about some cayenne? Okie dokie. I reckon this stuff's pretty hot. Yep. Yep. Cool. I'm having fun. I never knew you could give these guys this stuff as a kid. Food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat it, eat it, eat it. How about some cayenne? Much obliged, Let's give all the spices to everybody. <laughs> this is cool. I never tried this as a kid. It's got a powerful good spicy kick, but I can still taste the ink through it. Yep. Yep. Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said? Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go, customers. You want some cayenne? You like cayenne? Sure, but not right now. I'm working. Okay. You do you want some cayenne? Like cayenne? Oh, I can't have any spices. I have to keep my palate clean so I can judge the subtle differences in the quality of my soda. Um, okay. Sure. Does this guy want any cayenne? I don't think that would do much good. Fine. Does your cousin want any? Do you like cayenne, Calico? No, it's too hot for me. Alright, then let's try feeding everybody lemongrass then. Just for fun. Yeah, uh, that way, that way, that way. Jump out the red, fill it with some yellow. There! One container of lemongrass. Yeah! Oh boy! Anybody over here who here, let's give let's feed him some lemongrass. I said, feed him some Maybe lemongrass. Maybe he'll go faster if we give him some lemongrass. Yeah, let's Here. feed the man. Would you like some of this? Sure. Ooh, strong mm. stuff. Would it be all right if we gave Elmer some lemongrass? Oh no, <gasps> Elmer's on a very strict diet. I don't think he's eaten much of anything in the two years you've been running around. Maybe we should give the shark some lemongrass. 
I don't think it goes well with bubble gum. Oh, I can't throw the stuff at him anymore. Once you give him the gum, you can't throw the stuff. Uh, what is our next job? Would you like some lemongrass for your coffee? Yuck! That sounds awful. No, thank you. All right. Maybe your gum would taste better with some spices in it. Better? You want to try some lemongrass? Huh? Here, try some lemongrass. Okay. You want some more? Giving everybody all the spices. Packing Make new discoveries. Why not? Oh, look at his face! It's sour. Yeah, that's. You want more? I think you have like one more bit of dialogue. I'm gonna drink a little more water while you're eating that. Grass. Sure. <laughs> That's really sour. I think that's all the dialogue you have. But let's feed the lemongrass to everybody else. Do you want lemongrass? Do you like lemongrass? The acids present in lemongrass break down my body's natural steroids prematurely and make it more difficult to gain muscle mass. Oh. oh. Freddy's cousin, cousin Calico, do you like lemongrass? Do you like lemongrass, Calico? Yes, but I don't want any right now, thanks. Do you like lemongrass? Oh, I can't have any spices. I have to keep my palate clean so I can judge the subtle differences in the quality of my soda. Um, okay. Do you want lemongrass? Do you like lemongrass? Sure, but not right now. I'm working. Okay. All right, now we feed it to the octopuses. Here we go. Here you go, lady. Would you be interested in some lemongrass? Why, sure, that'd be right nice. <laughs> Whoa, size your Aunt Absinia. Right, boys? Yup. Yup. Oh, she's their mom. Would you be interested in some lemongrass? Okie dokie. Look at those faces. I sure don't want any of that stuff. Them, they're sour things, I reckon. A lot like, uh, what is that stuff? Lemongrass? That's it. <laughs> yep. Yup. And how, what do you think? Would you be interested in some lemongrass? Much obliged, young lady. <laughs> Boy, this here lemongrass is making my lips all squeezy. Yep. Yep. And then we're gonna feed him pepper. Right, wrong way. Let's get some pepper. There, one can take. Yep. You have some pepper. 
It's a spice container. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah, he'll yeah. go faster if we give him some pepper. Here, would you like some of this? Oh, no thanks. It makes me sneeze. Hmm. So he will eat the other two, but he won't eat that one. Interesting. Would you like some pepper for your coffee? Yuck! That sounds awful. No, thank you. All right. What do you have to say about pepper? You want some? Do you like pepper? Pepper always makes me sneeze. Me too. Do you want any pepper, Cousin Calico? You like pepper, Calico? Not really. It makes me sneeze. Everybody says that. Do you guys want some pepper? Would you all like some pepper? Why, well, sure, that'd be right nice. They're gonna sneeze. <gasps> Ooh. Bless you. Thank you, Darla. Oh, that's kind of cool. Leaves a picture. I, I never did this as a kid. I never found this out. How about some more pepper? Okie dokie. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, darling. Aw, pretty pictures. How about some more pepper? Much obliged, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> What's the picture this time? Bless you. Thank you, darling. Oh, a fishy. Oh, I love all the little things in this game. Alright, all that's left is to give some to this poor fishy. Here, try some pepper. Here we go. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, I bet the harmonica is. Hope he's okay. Oh, there he I goes. I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That was Ew. you, Luther. Oh, yeah. That doesn't surprise me that it was Luther that got a worm doodle up his nose. Ooh. So this is what we need to look like. Interesting. So we could get more letters from here if we needed. A harmonica! Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm. This is harder than it looks. Now, will I have to exchange it if I want another one? Is it gonna make me put the S back up? Or do I get to keep both? I really only need one letter. There we go. What color do I need the hat to be? Orange. Orange hat. Orange hat. Please spit, would you? Thank you. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 orange. Uh, now we put the nut on the thing. Wrong way. I went the entirely wrong way, actually. Yeah, I'm headed up there. What am I doing? It's a screwdriver. Ah. There you go. Take that. Hey, please make us a belt Here. buckle. Here. Easy done. Just wanna... There we go. Last thing we have to... I went the wrong way again. 
Here's your harmonica. Here. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh, boy! Yay! Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is great. Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Thank you so much. Oh, no now, problem. I can play the blues again. Got anything oh, else Monica, to say? It's good to have you back. So you always play the that same song every big. time? Nice. <laughs> I can't believe how well tuned this harmonica is. Yeah, you gotta play the same song every time. Just want to hear the, a little bit of dialogue beforehand. Oh, it's really a fine instrument. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> oh, Monica. How about some more Super Steve? No, no thank, thank you. you. All right, let's finish this game. Easy enough. We've all seen. Cat. Bow tie. Let's go. You stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. <laughs> Let's try yeah, yeah. Let's go, 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 go. Guard. Hold it! This is a. Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. Pretty, put it down. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um. Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. <laughs> we did it! Do, 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 do. We did it. Do, do, We're inside. Do, 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 Which way do you think the hogfish are? Do, 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 do. Well, I think I hear do, do, squealing do. coming from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get caught. Skip that. Yeah. Let's just get to the end of the game. Hey, look! What's this? It looks like a telegram. Oh, I remember who wrote stop, that. Martin, stop! Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop! You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go find the hook. Spin the wheel. Back down. Get the hook. Button. This should free Too bad the it's the guy with the stew. Luther, I like him. Mostly because he's related to food. Ready, Freddy. Fire away. Look out! Let go! Come back! He just Please opened that door back. without a key. Could they have just pushed We're that open the whole home. time? The food's terrible here. Or maybe he was like partway through unlocking it already? Oh, what do we do oh, now, whatever. Boy? I think you should give yourselves up. Yeah. Under arrest in the name of the law. Luther's always so dramatic. What I law? love it. Yeah, I don't see any law. 
Then Look at him holding up his belt. Around. It's like it's bigger Please than his body. It should be slipping down. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, How'd the snail guy get here so fast? I guess maybe he rode his car. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. You absolutely yeah, we'll would. We'll never catch him. You absolutely Actually, would. I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? I know exactly who it is, and I hate to point the finger, but it's you! Sahara Slim, I think that's what his name was, it was you! Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim yeah. sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. Luther. And then when we got here, Luther has Freddy's voice again. There were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. Well, that could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <gasps> Duh. I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be in That shame. I'm sorry, but but Luther with Freddy Fisher's voice coming out of him is uh, is utterly it hurts cursed. Other people, and Although it's just Freddy's voice, wrong. while no one's animating, You're is right. nearly as cursed. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know. I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Uh, Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. <laughs> yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. Squeal! Get him! Get him! It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. And they give them the hats. Ten gallon hats! God, I love this game. Gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Come on, you I two. really wish I still had my original CD ROMs. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. And the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh. Alright, so I think that's going to end up being the end of the stream. Two full playthroughs of the game, and we've seen just about everything I want to see. So I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow, or the day after that, or the day after that. But whenever, because I haven't checked my work schedule, uh, but whenever the next stream is, it will be a Wizard 101 stream. So I will see all you guys then. Alright. Bye, guys!